Okay, got this uh, Zebra 110 XI4 in for repair um, and uh, went to run like a calibration basically to just see if the labels would um, calibrate or how the printer would respond. Customer said that they were getting a, a label, uh, you know, media out error. Um, so let's just show you what this is doing here. So if you're getting media out errors and you're just getting no response, let's just, I'm just going to reset this for you so you can watch this video. And this is for the case where you're getting label out errors. And this isn't always going to be the case, but this is one of the things that can go wrong. Um, so powering it up here real quick. And you'll need to listen to the sound if this is the sound that you're getting. Okay, in the printer. And I'll, I'll get you to the bottom of what I found with this printer so it just says printer ready but then if i press feed to try and get it to calibrate okay um in fact we can even say pause well we'll just press feed you hear that sound that it makes okay and then you get a air condition paper out so again you can get this error for a number of reasons but in this case if it gives you that little sound and it just seems like it's running like in neutral without getting any traction. Uh, if you take the side panel off, okay, and be careful because there is some high voltage, you know, right there. So um, never, you know, take that off while the power is still applied to the unit, okay? But with three screws, you can take the side cover off. Now, if you go in here and look, the main drive belt that's supposed to go across this sprocket and around uh, has basically disintegrated on this unit. So. In this case, they have the rewinder option as well, so that's what this secondary belt is. Uh, and because this has that option, it has a double sprocket here, but you can see here is the remnants of the belt on this printer. So you can see that the main drive belt is just completely just destroyed and wrapped around. So I'll have to detangle that, but so that's just that's just one piece of the main drive belt there. So. Um, so again, you can get label out errors for a number of different reasons, but if you blew out your main drive belt, uh, you can get that if you get a label jam and it just completely locks the printer up. If you're, you know, been getting jams, you can actually stretch the belt and the belt can get stressed enough. In fact, this rewinder belt is, is shredding here as well, but, um, you'll see stretch marks in the belt sometimes as well, and that'll cause... Uh, some skipping of labels and some move in, movement of the platen roller without the material moving because it's slipping where the belt has been stretched. But um, it's pretty easy to replace the belt, to be honest with you. You just put it on this sprocket first and then just roll it onto this upper sprocket by just turning it and turning the upper sprocket uh, to just roll the belt onto the upper uh, sprocket. And it'll stay in place because this, this sprocket has like a guide rim on it that keeps the belt from wandering. So anyway, just uh, thought I'd give this one to you folks. Uh, if you get the error condition paper out error, again, there's a number of reasons you can get this error, but this is one of them. If you've blown out your main drive belt on the 110XI4, pretty much the same procedure applies uh, for the 110XI3 Plus printer as well, and the previous generations, it'll do the same thing. So, hope this helps. Thanks.